So this is just a quick video to show you how to access files using Xcode. I've got here my solutions to assignment 3 where you needed to open a file called months.txt and I've also added some code to write the output into a log file. And I'll walk you through that code first. Here is my code to open the files. First I open an input stream called month file and I attach it to the file called months.txt. Now this file has to exist already. If it doesn't exist, the code's not going to work. Then I'm going to open an output file called output file stream called log file and I'm going to attach it to a uh, file called log.txt. This file doesn't have to exist. Uh, the program will generate it automatically when it runs. So then uh, the rest of the code, when I uh, ask for a date, I'm going to actually write out the date that the user entered into the log file here. Then uh, every time I output a format, I'm also going to output that same format to the log file. So we'll see it on the, on the uh, console here, but we'll also see it in the log file afterwards. The question is, where do these files live? I've got these two files that I want to access, months.txt and log.txt, but where are they? Uh, there's a really easy way to find that. What you do is, on the left-hand side of your Xcode environment, you've got a couple folders. Tester, Tester. This is the name of your project. My project is called Tester. So whatever your project is called, that will be the name of this folder, and that's where your code will live. And then you'll have another pro a folder called Products. And inside there, there'll be an executable file with the same name as your project. Uh, so this, in this case, it's called Tester. It's an executable file. And this is the machine code that actually runs. We call this a build product. And you can find out where this build product lives on your computer. Uh, you can do a control click and show in Finder. And what that's going to do is take you to the folder where this build product lives. That's also the folder where you need to go to give it files, if you want to give it a file that it's going to read, and if you want to find any files that it creates. So if I click Show in Finder, then I'm going to get a window that looks like this, where my build product called Tester, and then I've also put months.txt in this folder. I have to put months.txt here, but this is where the program is going to put the log file that it generates. So let's go ahead and run the program and see what happens. And then we're going to get the prompt asking for a date, and we'll copy this date and paste it to see if that works, and that's great. Uh, and then it's going to ask us, do we want to do this again? And we'll say, sure, we want to do this again. Uh, and then we'll do another date, you know, Thursday, November 25, 1957, an important date for some reason. Uh, and then it'll ask us if we want to do it again, we'll say no, and then we'll be done. And we want to find out where this log.txt file would have been generated. And similarly, we can click on this build product and say show in Finder, and then we'll get this, get back to this same folder, and suddenly there's this new file called log.txt, and it was just created just now, and if we open it up, we'll see that it's got the log of that run. Here's Thursday, November 25th, 1957, and it builds all of the correct answers. So that's the way you find where log files get generated, and it's the way to find out where to put the files that you want your program to access. And you do that under Products, the name of your build product, Show in Finder.